Hi everyone, uh, so it's Friday night. I didn't want to bore you all with a big long testing video, although there's plenty of uh, tests that we're going to do on the machines still. Um, and also, I've been asked to do a top five out of these machines, uh, which ones I like the most. But for today, we're just going to do an unboxing. Uh, I bought some glasses that were recommended by a subscriber. Uh, they actually got in touch with me on Facebook and said, I've seen these glasses, um, or I bought them, sorry, um, and I really like them. And it was to do with when I did the boredom unboxing of all the boredom glasses. And because they're double walled, they're actually double walled all the way to the top. But with these overwear ones that he recommended to unbox on the channel, um, they have like a, they go single walled at the top. So if you, it just makes them more pleasant to drink. Um, they're called RJ3 double wall tasting glass, glasses. You get two in a pack. They were on Amazon. I think they were $21.99. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but the idea is basically with the double wall glass, it retains heat and cold and protects your hands um, it's been engineered let me see it says concentrates the coffee's complex aromas to your nose and enhance your drinking experience and the flared single lip just makes it easier to sip at it and delivers full flavors to the mouth and um, it says the dishwasher safe the food safe let's have a look so got a couple of little things here be delicate with them be interesting to see though because the boredom ones, they were alright, but they can feel a bit funny in your mouth at the top. Seems to be coming out. Let's have a look. Alright, I think they just slide out from... Yeah. And I thought what I'd do... I'll, get, I'll let you have a look at that, but I'll get this other one out. If I, if I can get this other one out. I thought what I'd do is make a stormy or capsule in them. Uh, because it came up in the comments the other day, what size cup do you actually need um, to buy? Because I think the... I'm back again, I'm back again. I think the virtual mug set that you can get, um, I think they're about 380 or 390 milliliters, 390, something like that. But these are a 230 mil coffee. Um, so how big, you know, how small can you actually go? Because the boredom ones, these are 350 mil. Um, but so will that fit a virtual mug size coffee? Well, I tested it the other day and it does. And I also have a 300, a roughly 325 mil measuring cup uh, and it filled it. I poured one on here, a stormy one, it filled it right to the brim. So if you're going to buy any sort of cup, I would probably go for something that's about 325 mil at least. Well, it's going to have to be more than that because it filled it right to the brim. Uh, to, just to give yourself a bit of leeway, maybe a few more mil than that. So the 350 mil ones. They're a good size and they do work, but they've got a bit of branding, oval wear. And as we can see, it just goes single, single walled at the top, but the double walled throughout the rest of it. Um, another thing that came up about these double walled glasses, apparently they're really good for outside as well. If you want to, if you drink coffee outside and it goes cold really quickly, like they've, they do retain heat more inside, but especially outside, apparently with the wind, they can be really windproof. Let's pour, pour some out and see what it comes out like. So this is a stormy old capsule. The reason I'm using this one is because I found that it's got a, it's got a lot of body to it. So the foam that comes out of the top, um, it's really thick in comparison to some of the others. So if it's going to fit in this cup, then you know the stormy old fits. I'm pretty sure they'll all fit. These are mug size 230 mil. This will give you an idea as to how thick the foam actually has come up. It's a 230 mil coffee. This is a 350 mil capacity cup. Let's pour it through and see what it looks like. It takes a little bit of a while with the centrifuging. If you've got virtual machines though, you'll know that, won't you? When we do the um one where we're gonna do the top five machines, by the way, and top five pods, someone mentioned doing it with and without milk in your top five pods. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of coffee tasting this weekend. Look at looking, looking, right? It does look quite good, that. It'd be interesting to see if it makes any difference to how it feels when you drink out of the cup, that single wall at the top. Yeah, if there's anything specific you want me to mention, or 
like about the machines while I'm doing any of those videos just let me know and I'll try and include it for you I also bought some uh, Bowden Bistro, well, a Bowden Bistro cup. And I was going to review and unbox and review those on the channel, uh, but I'm, it didn't come in a box. <laughs> it was only, I thought I was saving money by buying one. But, uh, so I had to send that back, but I'll show you that when we, I've got some more Bowden glasses to unbox and show you. They're called the Pilatus. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the other one, that one in that video as well, the Bistro one. They had a little, um, sharp sort of rim on the handle it made me wonder if it was seconds so i didn't really want to review something that's might be possible seconds 26 pound 50 though for the cup so what do we think of that so that's a 350 mil glass so you can see really for a 230 mil mug size coffee you don't really want a glass much smaller than that do you you know or else you're just gonna struggle to drink it without spilling it but i'll just have all i can do is have a little sip I've got, yeah, I've got to be honest, it, it, I did smell the coffee more. I'll be honest, I did. Um, the aroma was nice um, and it was pleasant to drink out of. Yep, so that's the glasses, oval wear, RJ3, double wall tasting glass. Um, $21.99, they're worth for two on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, please give the video a like if you've liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and these machine tests that we're going to be doing and top five machines, top five pods for Nespresso. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, enjoy your weekend, bye for now.